This is the new Amazon Fire Stick interface. For those of you who got your Fire Stick from me, not too much has changed. You notice on the first row, all my apps pretty much are up there, all the apps that you need. If you didn't get your Fire Stick from me, then there's a few settings and things like that that I wanna go over. So first thing you'll notice the difference is that on the home screen, you don't have all the controls up at the top. Now, to your left of the home button, you have profiles. And here you can add profiles up to six for different people in your family, your kids and stuff like that, if you want. You go to the right, you have home. And again, if you got your fire stick from me, all of these things that are in the home, everything else in here is what I call suggestions. You can go down here, look at all of this different content, see something that you like, but when you're ready to watch it, just hit your home button again, and then go to one of my apps to watch it. So again, anything else on here from that home button, all the Amazon content, all this other content, you can watch on any one of my apps. Next, you'll have the find section. Find is where search is now. So if you wanted to search something through Amazon content, this is the area you will go to. They also have a live section. So for all of you who have a Prime account and using the Prime features, things, different things like that, they have a section called live where you go down here and supposedly these are all live TV or stuff that's on right now in that area. All right, once you get past live, now you enter my apps. Again, the first row has six apps. All right, moving down. Here, the square boxes is where you have all the apps are listed. So if you hit that, it's going to take you to the area where you see, can see all the apps that are installed on your Fire Stick. All right, getting back home. That last area now is the settings. This is all the different settings. If you got your Fire Stick from me, you don't have to worry about any of these settings. If you didn't get your Fire Stick from me, I'm gonna just go over a few settings that you need to know about. The first one is called Preferences. In this area, privacy settings is one of the most important settings you need to adjust. In the privacy settings area, you wanna make sure all of these settings are off. Because these settings are allow the Fire Stick to communicate with Amazon. So you don't want your Fire Stick communicating with Amazon if you're using my applications, all right? So just come to this area and just turn all of these features off. Off, off, and off. Uh, data monitoring, again, you don't want Amazon monitoring your data, so make sure that's turned off. Notifications, that's on you, whether you like notifications or not, I keep this off. So notification settings, do not interrupt. I turn that on because I don't want to see the little notifications popping up. Featured content is a little area where it just slows down your, your fire stick. This is on your main page where you have your main advertising. So you can come in here and just turn those two off. Sync recent content is for if you have four or five different fire sticks on your account, if you get something on one, you can sync the recent content on the other. So again, I just turned this off. So those are the main settings that you wanna turn off. All right, going back to the main settings, see again. Again, all of these haven't really changed much, but again, those preferences, make sure you adjust those. Other than that, the new interface looks pretty good. Uh, they're trying to make it more Android-like, but it's okay. Now, they still do have an area for recents. Okay, so if I go inside an, of an app, all right, I'll go into Cinema. Once I load that app, that means I've opened it, and when I hit the Home button and go back, it should be in the recent area. There it is. So recently used. I'll go back again up to the top. 
that's your home and when I start to go down there's your recents so again to clear your recents hit the button with the three lines it says remove from recent select that and that gets rid of that from your recents but at least you won't see it anymore with the prior version it was always right on that first row and I would tell you don't open your apps from recents only open them from your apps and channels Another thing I do not like is now when you go to the apps, they don't give you the name of the app up at the top. So you'd have to know that's background, Hydrogen, JK, whichever IPTV service you have, Cinema, Cyberflix, and BTV. Again, those are the best apps to watch TV shows and movies. The new Amazon Fire Stick interface. Any questions, hit me up.